Well, hey guys, I just cannot <laughs> stop smiling right now. Um, so this is so cool. So, um, God always proves to me stuff. So, okay, first of all, two things. Um, well, today is um, May 4th, 2023, but I got the message on May 3rd and he finished it up today. But, so I'm going to do that in a second. It's probably going to be two parts. Um, let me just claim that Jesus Christ is Son of God. He's God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh and he died on the cross. He shed his blood on the cross for the the people who always say that. Um, and he rose on the third day and um, he was born of a virgin for the other people who say that. And um, I think I, I said it all and he rose on the third day. Okay, so um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. So the reason why I'm smiling is because I have never read the book of Enoch ever, ever in my life, okay? And I heard when I was getting the message, Enoch 44, Enoch, I heard, this is what I heard. I heard Enoch 44, 8, 12, 2. And, and I was like, Enoch 12, 2. And I was like, I've never read the book. So I thought it was just like our book, 44, 8. So I called Cassie and from Faith Over Fear 44. And I was like, Cassie, what is this? Like, I don't know how to find this stuff. And she's like, no, they're by chapters. So this is so cool because I have never even read Enoch before. So the fact that he's giving me scriptures, he's trying to show us something. He also mentioned there was someone who commented about lithia. And I didn't even know what lithia was. But today he mentioned it again. And he said retirement community in Florida. And I didn't know it was a retirement community. I heard it in my head. And then I looked it up and I was like, it was a retirement community. That's so cool. Okay, so because I just thought it was Lithia, Florida. Anyway, so they're apparently going to get ice. I think he just, he's really trying to prove to people um, that he's speaking to me to wake them up because, you know, time is really short. And now that he gave me Enoch, I feel like he's being a lot more detailed about stuff. Okay, so let me get into it. Uh, May 3rd, 2023, 2 Thessalonians 2.5. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? Mark 1, 9. It came to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth, Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. Job 42, 3. You ask, who is this who hides counsel without knowledge? Therefore, I have uttered what I did not understand, things too wonderful for me, which I did not know. <clears throat> I think that one was for me. <laughs> Job 38, 3. Now prepare yourself like a man. I will question you and you shall answer me. John 4, 11. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? Okay, and here's the message. My child, the earth is going to shake. Yellowstone will erupt. The cycle has dissipated. Guys, this is like the fourth Yellowstone uh, warning. The end is near. Do you lean on your own understanding of scripture or do you seek me for guidance when you read my word? Look at the Pharisees. They have a religious spirit and they stand in the synagogues looking for praises of men instead of praising the Father. But they know my words. Have you given me your hearts or do you seek public Public acknowledgement for appraisal. Oh, you're wicked and blasphemous, and I won't stand for this mockery. Am I a god of order or chaos? Do I seek revenge? Didn't I say love your neighbor? So why are you scoffing at them and mocking them? Your pride will be your downfall. Seeking sign after sign. I gave you the sign of Jonah. I gave you signs in my word. I have not only given you earthly signs, but I have also declared the heavens for you. It's my design. Hasn't the devil mocked everything I have created? This generation is wicked and is poisoning the mind of my children. But even the wicked, I don't want them destroyed. I want them to come to me, repent and believe in me. I have come to save the world, not condemn it. If you have faith and trust in me, I will save you. When you come to me and believe in me, I will renew your mind and give you a new heart of flesh. I get rid of the heart of stone. 
You grow in love and you grow in me. You will have my spirit. I love my children because I love them. You shall love them too. Once they come to me and truly believe in me, they will always believe in me. No angels or demons can snatch them out of my hand. I won't blot their name out of my book, no matter how far they fall short from my glory. I love you, child. Please wake up. Lithia, the retirement community in Florida. Ice will hit there. Don't question my prophets. They speak truth. I'm trying to wake you up so you will believe. Have you asked me personally to show you? Have you asked for the gift of discernment? If you keep knocking, you will receive and the door will be open to you. Do you see how there is an open door for the ones who believe and trust in me? They also have faith. So when I call up my chosen ones, they know the key to my door. They have faith, trust, and belief in me. They aren't disingenuous. Look at their fruits. Do they come with kindness, love, and childlike faith? Or are they temperamental, rude, and callous? You will always fall short, but when you truly believe in me, you will have a loving spirit. You will mimic the fruit of the Lord. When my chosen ones are removed, my spirit in them and faith is removed. Now that I have revealed to you what the restrainer is, some of my children still think the great tribulation has started. It hasn't. When the spirit is removed, it will start. Is Passover and Purim here? Has the precursor of darkness happened? When you see darkness in those places, you know my coming is very near. I am at the door, but has the flower bloomed yet? We are one mind and one spirit in the body of Christ. This will all make sense to you soon. Keep looking up. Keep searching me. Keep worshiping me. I love you. You're Adonai, your father, your friend your teacher, your true Messiah, your Lord God, and I have spoken. The Lord is shaking me right now, guys. Hold on. Wow, okay. I just heard my child reveal to me my patterns, my patterns of heaven is in Enoch. Okay. <laughs> Colossians 1.11. Strengthen with all might according to his glorious power for all patience and long suffering with joy. Second Thessalonians 3.4. And we have confidence in the Lord concerning you, both that you do and will do the things we command you. Joel 1.8, lamb it like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband of her youth. Ephesians 3.12, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through faith in him. Jude 1.6, and the angels who did not keep their proper domain, but left their own abode. He has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness for the judgment of the great day. Psalm 114.8, who turned the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a fountain of waters. Proverbs 21.5, the plants of the diligent lead surely to plenty, but those of everyone who is hasty surely to poverty. Leviticus 2.13, and every offering of your grain offering you shall season with salt. You shall not allow the salt of the covenant of your God to be lacking from your grain offering. With all your offerings you shall offer salt. John 4, 8, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Then the woman of Samaria said to him, how is it that you being a Jew asked a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, if you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, give me a drink, you would have asked him and he would have given you living water. Okay, guys, so I'm going to do part two for the second message because I don't think we're going to fit it all. Okay. Trust in Jesus. He loves you. And, um, guys just, just believe in him with all your heart and he will save you. Okay. God bless.